So you may have a truck or an SUV, but you're not sure exactly what hitch to get in order to tow safely and easily. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a range of hitches and exactly how to use them so you don't end up like this with a broken hitch and stay safe. Let's get to it. Do you guys love trucks? If so, we've got a new podcast that will keep you entertained for hours from on-road to off-road, from Raptors to Frontiers to Tacomas. Check out tfltruck.com slash podcast or go to wherever you get your favorite podcast, including Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Spotify. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the most popular type of hitch. It's called conventional hitch, also known as bumper pull. Basically a hitch that's mounted underneath your rear bumper of your truck to the frame of your pickup or an SUV or to the unibody structure of your car or a crossover. And I'm not gonna be spending much time on gooseneck and fifth wheel hitches. That's gonna be a whole other video. And quick disclaimer, this channel, TFL Truck, is partnered with Gen Y Hitch, but I'm gonna be showing you all kinds of different sizes, types, and brands of hitches. Now it all starts right here. Of course, there are several different classes of hitches. There's anywhere from class one, two, three, four, five, and maybe even a new class called class six. I'm not gonna be focusing on a classification number because some of it is kind of outdated and manufacturers of trucks SUVs and hitches have been moving a little bit quicker than some of the regulators. But basically all I want to point out is you want to buy a hitch that corresponds to the weight you're towing. The hitches I'm showing you here are part of the class one and two. And this weight category is up to 3,500 pounds of trailer maximum weight or 350 pounds of tongue weight. And these are the smallest hitches. This particular one is kind of a just square tubing right here. It's one and a quarter size. And when you hear one and a quarter, it's basically the distance from here to here. It's basically a square. So one and a quarter shank, basically it's called. It has a small drop or it can be turned into a lift for some applications. Right here is um, class one or two hitch that's a little bit more strong. This particular one is from Dr Draw Tight. Still the same weight, you can notice, 3,500 pound maximum trailer weight, but this one is a solid shank. It weighs just a little bit more, not much, and it's gusseted right here for extra strength. Has a little bit more of a rise or a drop, and you've seen this before, people using hitches to lift the trailer tongue which is actually very important to do. If you have kind of a low car or crossover with a hitch way down by the ground, you wanna make sure that you can lift your ball high enough so it meets the trailer so that the towing vehicle and the trailer are as level as possible. Next up, let's briefly talk about pins. Now, just like anything, you have to secure your hitch into your receiver. And this is one of the smaller pins right here and it matches this class one or two type of hitch. Goes in pretty easily. If you have a bigger hitch, much more weight, your pin size changes too. So you can see the difference between a class one pin and a class three, four, five type of pin. Before I move on, the class one and two hitches, the smallest types, the one and a quarter shank, are also often used for a bike carrier like this. Uh, okay, let's step up to a bigger hitch. This particular one is still very basic, but it's for a higher payload and weight carrying capacity. This is a two inch receiver. Actually the most common receiver for most SUVs, pickup trucks like midsize trucks, like the Gladiator Mojave that's next to me, or even a half tons like the Ford F-150 and the Silverado 1500. And let's say you're in a pinch, you just need a hitch, and you know you have a two inch receiver, and you run into a parts store or maybe a big box store, and you can find a hitch like this. Here's just a quick size comparison, one and a quarter versus two inch. When you put them together, it's obvious the difference. Before we move on to even bigger and heavier hitches like this, 
we gotta look at this. You might be saying, what is this homemade monstrosity? Well, it's not quite homemade, but I actually picked it up from a family friend. And it's actually an extension for a truck that's carrying a camper. So you've seen this before. There's a camper hanging in the back of the truck and it's extending past, past the bed. And in order to tow something, you have to have an extension on your hitch. But your towing capability actually reduces. Because take a look at this. If your pin is connected here and your ball is actually like two feet away, what happens is leverage. And leverage can actually make what something is lightweight connected to this actually seem heavier. So you have to reduce your trailer weight when you're towing with a, this type of hitch. Now, a quick story about this particular hitch. I bought it about 16 or 17 years ago. I had a Nissan Pathfinder as my towing vehicle, a 2001 model, and I needed height adjustment. And I was so happy, look at this. It's pretty simple. Back then I wasn't a TFL truck. I didn't know Mr. Truck, but I had basically what's an adjustable, a height adjustable hitch. And at the time, my wife and I had a ski boat, which weighed about 4,500 pounds. It was a 20 footer, a smaller boat. And um, this was just fine. Yeah, 16 years ago, I wish I knew Gen Y Hitch because check this out. This is one of their newest designs. Came out just within the last year or so. And it's called the glider. It's a cushioned hitch. The way this hitch works, which I can show you on video, there's a torsion axle in here. Basically a steel tube with rubber bands, very heavy duty rubber bands, like any torsion axle would be on a trailer. And it actually goes up and down and cushions your load. You have two pin locations here. And this is one is a hollow tubing because it's not meant for super heavy towing. And it's not super, super expensive. Uh, let's keep moving up. Now this hitch I'm showing you right here is meant for trailers of up to 14,000 pounds or 1,400 pound tongue weight. This is a two-sided ball, two inch on the bottom, two and five sixteenths on the top. You can invert it. You can use it as a drop. You can use it as a rise. And it's a solid shank, solid shank steel construction. So you know this is a strong hitch. This is beyond a half ton capability, this type of towing. So of course it can be used with any half ton or of course three quarter ton trucks if you have an adapter because this is a two inch shank and you probably will need an adapter to convert it to two and a half inch receiver, which I'll show you in a second. Here's an example of a two inch shank on a hitch with a two and a half inch adapter for a larger receiver. For example, our 2020 Ford F250 three quarter ton truck has a two and a half inch receiver already built in. This is a very basic adapter. It does not have a lip on top of it to prevent it from sinking into a hitch. So it's actually fairly difficult to use, but it's very inexpensive. It's about what, 15 or 20 bucks. But it also decreases your capacity to tow with a big three quarter ton truck because the pin that goes into this adapter, there may be some sideway motion between the pin and the adapter and that can create a shear force and actually create some damage to the pin. So you cannot tow like for example 14,000 with this hitch. If you're using an adapter, that rating may come down some because of this adapter or any adapter like this. Now uh, before I get to the biggest type of hitch, I uh, quickly wanted to talk about tongue weight. I've been mentioning tongue weight throughout this video and basically for a conventional hitch like this, any of the hitches I've shown you in this video, you want to be around 10% tongue weight, which means if you're hauling 5,000 pounds total trailer weight, the weight that's on the ball here, the tongue, should be about 500 pounds. But how do you know? What if you have a trailer that's, you know, from U-Haul and you're moving it, you've never seen this trailer before, how do you know? Well, there are hitches like this. This is a way safe. 
Well, actually a weight scale right here built in. There is a basically a load cell beneath this ball. So when the ball is pushed down, it registers the weight and kind of shows hydraulically basically what that weight equates to so you can get an idea. So this is uh, how WaySafe does it. And they have aluminum hitches which are very lightweight. This is a fairly big hitch but I can lift it easily with one hand and adjustable of course. Uh, aluminum hitches cost a little bit more because of the material itself. This one is rated for 10,000 pounds, so they're still fairly strong. Now what in the world is happening here? What is this gigantic hitch? Well, this is a Gen Y Boss, and this is a heavier duty hitch. Basically, the capability of this hitch is around 16,000 pounds of maximum trailer weight, and it's a torsion cushion hitch. I already showed you the glider hitch by Gen Y, and this is one of its big brothers, the boss. This is a two and a half inch shank right here. Solid steel, once again, solid steel here. Instead of one, two torsion axles, one in the top, one in the bottom. So this hitch goes up and down, up and down like this as well. And height adjustable. One, two, three, four, five height, different height adjustments you can put. And why use this hitch versus others. Like I showed you a Kurt that's heavy duty and height adjustable. Well, a Kurt, you have to have a very special ball connection that looks like this, right? Well, with a hitch like this, this is a two inch receptacle. You can put anything that's two inches um, in here. You can put a two inch hitch of any kind at any height. You can put a bike rack if you wanted to. And a little later I'll show you a weight distribution attachment because as soon as you get over 5,000 pounds in weight, weight distribution hitches become very important for safety and also to distribute the weight. What else is this hitch good for? It has a very basic tongue weight scale because when you put weight on this hitch, the torsion axles bend and this quick gauge will show you approximately how much tongue weight you're putting on. So this other pin equates to about 1,700 pounds of tongue weight. So you kind of kind of judge exactly what you have. And this is the maximum rating on this hitch. You also have Zerk fittings for lubricating the axles on this hitch. And since this is a two and a half inch shank, this would be perfect for F-250 three-quarter ton truck. They also actually have three inch receivers for big one-ton trucks and also adapters that convert this to a three inch or actually this shank that's three inches. Can you imagine that? And those hitches are rated to up to 21, 22, maybe even 23,000 pounds. So then we're talking commercial use, heavy duty hitches and they're not very, very cheap either. I mean, they're really well built, solid. We've been using these hitches for several years. They're very, very strong for heavy towing, like the I Gauntlet. This hitch has another trick up its sleeve. It can be quickly converted into a pintle hitch. You've seen sometimes commercial guys use trailers with pintle hitches. It's basically a big ring on the trailer tongue that loads up into a semi truck or maybe a pickup truck with this arrangement and it can't go anywhere. The downside to that is it can bang, can be loud because you have steel on steel uh, going back and forth, but this is very secure. It won't disconnect, very strong. Um, hitches like this can also be used for off-roading because you have articulation where the trailer can go side to side while your truck remains still and vice versa. But also Overland community have invented many different types of hitches that have actually three-dimensional movement in them. So instead of using a pintle like this, you can also use an Overland type hitch. And there are several different brands for that. Okay, I've been running my mouth a lot without actually showing you a lot of weight distribution attachments or connections. So let me do this one. Here's our latest weight distribution attachment. 
So what in the world is going on here? Let's try to attach this. So it's using actually two receptacles because there's a lot of strength built into this. And then on this end, you can attach your arms that go out to the trailer for weight distribution. Obviously this can be at any height or location. You can put it a lot lower. And everything fits really tightly. There's not a lot of motion in here. This can also be converted to like a pintle connection if you have a different type of special connection for your trailer. So you have other different options to convert this to something else. Or like I said, convert it to a weight distribution attachment here in the back. And it's basically kind of like arms of a wheelbarrow trying to lift up the truck and the trailer. When you need the heaviest type of loading and the biggest hitch is a height adjustable, this is a very good solution. Finally, this would not be TFL truck if we didn't have some fun, right? I mean, towing is a blast, but sometimes you just need to relax and have some hitch accessories, right? And this is a kind of a heavy duty step from Gen Y right there. And it can hold up to 500 pounds. Put it in your hitch. Here we go. Install the step with a pin. And let's say you have a kind of a bed rack on your truck. You're going out camping, you have a tent. Maybe you need to climb into it. A uh, very easy step to get up and above everything else. Uh, I may have gotten carried away a little bit. This hitch video I think is way longer than I anticipated, but I think I showed you almost every type of hitch as far as conventional hitches are concerned and how to use them. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps you. My table is empty. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for my news use on real world truck trailer or hitch reviews and i hope you understand that this is pretty easy just look at your weight ratings on all of your components in your vehicle boom nice and easy anything from really inexpensive to heavy duty heavy hitches thanks and speaking of accessories i forgot one more thing <laughs> this is the accessory to rule all accessories Oh yeah, now that is a hook. <laughs> okay, so the hook also comes from Gen Y hitch. But uh, if you're going into the deep mud and your buddy is stuck or you're stuck, maybe you can put a strap or a couple straps over this. Or just go to your next tailgate party, just like this. Actually, no, go to your tailgate party like this you can lock it in both ways and actually use this as a step yeah